LSU football just on the horizon. Practices coming. I'm not sure if they start today or tomorrow. And some of you want to comment that. I'm not sure. I think LSU, I looked it up. They see their, it was either today or tomorrow they start practicing. But LSU, a lot of excitement. Quincy Wiggins, Savion Jones. Who who takes who takes the leap on the defensive line? Who are the transfers? Paris Shand, uh, Jordan Jefferson. Who who can any of those guys really make a statement in practice? I was listening to Brian Kelly's interview at the Rotary Club. Brian Kelly. It sounds like to me he seems like he's focused, but it seems like he still has that hunger in him. And I think LSU, the mindset of LSU players is the same. I think that the way they performed against Purdue was big, but I think. The way they ended prior to that Purdue game, I think they're not sad. They're not. They're content, but they're not quite satisfied. And I think that's the that's the mindset they want to be in for this season. Mason Smith, I think, is going to feast this year. I think Mason Smith is going to be the first defensive tackle off the board in the 2024 NFL Draft. I think he's going to do some really nice things next year. Malik Neighbors is a stud at wide receiver. Can't wait to watch him show out. We'll see if they they start to get more yards after the catch, like Mike Denbrock said. It's something they've stressed. His special teams cleaned up. No more muff fumble. No more muff punts. No more kick uh, block. You know, mo no more missed field goals returned for touchdowns. You can't have any of that stuff. So hopefully that's cleaned up. See Mason Taylor. We'll see how he continues to develop as a tight end. Is he the number one tight end off the the board into the 2025 NFL Draft? Not most likely not the best tight end in college football next year. That's Brock Bowers, but. Mason Taylor. Has Mason Taylor really established himself as the second best tight end in college football? Does he really become kind of the consensus number one guy uh, for the 2025 NFL Draft? And does he continue to be productive and to continue to be a go-to guy for Jaden Daniels once again? You saw in the Purdue game, he really broke out. You saw in the Alabama game and just really, I don't know, just about every game, uh, Mason Taylor was phenomenal. So for LSU, pieces in place to have a successful season. Quincy Wiggins and another other guy. His name keeps being thrown out about a, a guy that's going to break out. Harold Perkins, I believe, is going to have another phenomenal year. I think you're going to does he see the thing. Harold Perkins already established himself as a very good player, but does this is this become the year where Harold Perkins just be, becomes so feared? He just becomes takes another step in his development. He just becomes an elite game changer that everyone has on notice. I think he put a lot of. Like, people around the SEC were put on notice by Harold Perkins last year, but does he put the rest of the country on notice, and does he become like a potential Von Miller, Khalil Mack, Terrell Suggs back in the day, the Dominican Sioux type of just that college, that defender in college football that just puts fear in offensive opponents? I think he certainly has the potential to. We'll see how he does uh, this upcoming season.